I moved the freight wagons back. Oh, yep, before I forget. Hi from Farland. Um, one of the things I want to do here is I want to be sure, oh, if I can get the lid off that thing, I want to be sure that this does not go anywhere. With my thin glue, I think I'll wet it down too. Okay, time to move on to the next one. Everybody's seen static grass go down. It's no big deal. What people don't show you very often is how to stretch your static grass. After you've laid it, you can sort of see through it. Well, a way to cover it, cover the holes, and uh, save money on your static grass, just go back over it with some fine, fine scatter. I'm using fine turf. Then when you're done, come back and vacuum up whatever ha of it has not settled down into the glue and is loose. And it looks like it's solid static grass, but it's, it's thin static grass with, uh, with scatter dropped in it. I actually do that a lot. But uh, static grass is pretty expensive, and I like to save my money as much as I can and still get a good result. If you've ever been snapped with one of these uh, static grass dispensers, you probably want to avoid it in the future. Anyway, I was zapped by it recently, and I didn't like it. <clears throat> I decided to revise my habits so that it doesn't happen again. Well, to my eye, that looks pretty good. Got some yellow patches and some greener patches, and it all looks like static grass, which is about the way wild grass looks. I mean, unless somebody fertilizes it, mows it, and makes it look beautiful and perfect, it's very uneven. The color is uneven when you get up close. And from a distance, this will actually look pretty, pretty even. But uh, up close, no. Okay, now we have to pull up the tape. Let's see what we get. You could save this as uh, little grass pods if you wanted to. Okay, there it is, uh, after pulling up the tape. I want to put some, uh, some dirt down.
Then I'm going to go back over it with some super fine, just about powder. This stuff goes a long ways too, because you're using it pretty sparingly. And the tiniest bit goes a very long way. Okay, well, we'll let it dry. Though it's tempting, one shouldn't connect to the track. Although the track makes a wonderful ground, you can, uh, you can knock out your decoders or even your controller. But doing it like this, with a short piece of track, works great. Now to take it from this, to this. So it's, it's kind of a magic transformation really. When you take the fine powder and then brush it along, a little of it kicks out on the sides and it just it just makes it look a whole lot better makes it look more like a car track or a truck track for scale just for the heck of it let's find a vehicle and put it out there yeah I think I need to go along and clip off all the I'll get some small scissors though and uh, I'll come along and clip off the grass in the middle. I've got some little bitty scissors that'll work really good. Okay, well, let's do the rest of it. This is dirt that I sifted through a, a stocking. There it is. The finished road, or track as I like to call it. Oh, that's been there a while. It, it, there's a tree starting to grow out of that one. Bye from Farland.